Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Hellion. Uh, so, last episode I had trouble finding my station, and I didn't know what to do, so I decided just to say F it, and I shut her down for the night. Are you serious? Cancer already? And so, yeah, then I logged it back in the next day, and uh, sure enough, I was actually on, on the st or I did die, and I had the option to respawn, so I respawned, and I was back on the old station. Uh, let's put half of that in here. And, uh, yeah, so I decided to stay where I was. I went and called the rescue ship, and since I had left that door open, when the ship came, I decided to go through this door. I closed it, went through that tube over there, out the door, and so this whole section was depressurized. And when I opened it, of course, I got shot out. And, uh, I didn't get a chance to close it, so I decided I was going to close it on the, when I got back. And so I went to the ship, and went back to where my other ship was to get all the stuff off of it, and come back here, and I had no problems getting back here, so I went to go close that door, and it was closed. I went up to it, and I got the F to interact prompt on it. So I said, okay, well then, I must have closed it. And I came back through this door, I went through here, as soon as I walked, I went up here and it was still, so it was a uh, pressure hazard, so I had to manually open the door. Apparently that tube was still open. I went in the tube and the hatch was physically closed. I interacted with it. It made the closing sound, but it didn't move. And I came back in and then the whole station was starting to pressurize again. And so I lost all my life support once again. So I decided to have hell with it and I did a fresh start. And I have done a fresh start and I am all set up here. I just got the airlock put in. I took a little bit of a break and uh, did pretty good. I found a couple of stim packs and whatnot. But I'm thinking, let's uh, get the jetpack going here before I go back into Zero G. What I want to do today is I want to head out to Broken Marble and try to find some warp cells because I used basically that full warp cell. Excuse me. I guess I could have used a button too, but it doesn't matter. I know you don't have to do this, but. I can't tell you how many times I've depressurized my whole sta station and ship because that door didn't close. And just in case. Okay, we're good. I'm good. Alright, so yeah, we're going to go and look for some warp cells. I'm going to see if I happen to come across a CM. If I do and it's safe, like there's no turret inside, we're going to bring it back. And that way I can get myself a station. Uh, I did find a ca couple of catalysts. Oh, that's a bit of lag. I did put them on the, in my little safety box. And I do made sure I do have a couple of spare suits there and whatnot. So, with that being said, I'll see you at Broken Marble. Alright, I'm at Broken Marble here. And I just did a scan. I actually got an inside orbit. And I thought you, I found this whole about panel module. And I thought you had to actually find these in industrial. Like I never actually looked up for these. These are actually one of the new updates. But we'll go check out, check that out. Uh, hopefully there's no turret on it. And maybe we can bring it home. Uh, I'm wondering if that, if you can uh, control turrets that are attached to the ship. You know what I mean? Authorize them through the authorize panel. I don't know. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and warp here and I'll see you there. Alright, I may have warped too late. I don't know if you can see it on the right there, but I am coming extremely close to broken marble. Uh, we're just going to see what happens here. Hopefully I don't hit it. Actually, you know what? Uh, this might not be a good idea. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, anyways, I'll let you know what happens. <laughs> Alright, here we are. Uh, at the derelicts. We're going to check these out first before we head out to the solar panels. Uh, there is a bit of a debris field, so let's see what happens. Oh, oh. Well, let's just hope there's no turrets on these things because I've seen turret stands on them before. But being around broken marble, I don't think we really have an issue right now. So let's see what we can find. Really want that solar panel module though. Never seen one before. Oh, I see a warp cell. Exactly what I'm looking for. Another resource container. I'll not grab that. And 
a couple of grenades, got ammo, I'm not really worried about the ammo. Ooh, two cells. Nice. Let's see what else we got in here. I don't need another gun, I've already got one. I was just about to repair that and I realized, oh yeah, I'm a derelict. Take the stem pack. Ooh, three warp cells. My lucky day. And I don't need that. I'll just take the warp cell. Alright, let's head off to the other one. Which should be right up here. Let's see what we can find in this one here. These things first came out. I was worried that these things were like, you know, that they were gonna like blow up like within five minutes of you finding them. Oh, resource ejector. I actually use that. What is that? Oh, it's a helmet. I'm gonna get in the habit of taking all the helmets and suits that I can find too. Take that. Let's go get that before I forget. Actually, I gotta go out that way anyways. So let's see what's around. Don't think there's much over here. Speaking of suit, take that. And I gotta grab that helmet first. And what else we got in the lockers? More grenades. Another re resource container. Those are always handy. And I don't have the room for it. Uh, Screw it. I don't need that. Uh, we'll take the hacking tool, though. It's almost like shopping. Ooh, what do I want? Uh, I won't worry about the grenades, either. Alright, where was that helmet? There's a suit. Oh, there's a sun in my face. There's the helmet. Anything else? Nope. Alright. Well, that's the best thing about having the cargo bay door open too, is I can just fly right in there, drop the suit off on the shelf, and go. Oh yeah, it was over by this door. But of course, now that I have a spare suit and a spare helmet, I still need a spare jetpack. Alright, where is the ship? Where is the ship? Probably right in front of me. All right, well, I'm going to go uh, drop this stuff off, and I'll bring you back when I'm at the solar panel. Just depressurizing the elevator right now, there's actually a turret stand in the cargo bay. That's really handy. That way, if you have the door open and you're going in and out, you don't have to worry about somebody looting you when you're gone. Anyway. Okay, so here we are. I'm just going to sort of cruise around a little bit. Make sure there's no turrets or anything we need to worry about. And actually looks like it's just an airlock. An airlock with solar panels on it. Interesting. Let's have a little closer look. Because as far as I know, turrets are still shooting through walls and doors and everything else. Let's see if I can... I don't think it's going to have a turret in it. Inside, and I think it's gonna be good. And I think we should be okay. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna grapple this thing and bring it home, and I will see you when I'm there. Okay, I'm back at the station, and I have the solar panel with me. I had a bit of a, a noob moment trying to dock this. I didn't realize I had the uh, the back docking port highlighted. I was trying to dock this side and it didn't clue into me. It had no ring on it. But I want to do a quick check here. Uh, for one, see if there's any repairs I can do out that I need to do out here. Great place for the docking panel. 
uh, where do we put the catalysts? Because they output 74 power each. So it's getting about 300 for the whole unit. Where are the catalysts? Where do they go? They're probably inside is what that is. Uh, yeah, with the catalysts you should be able to get probably 500, so that's actually pretty good. Oh, what's on this side? Nothing. Yeah, it's probably going to be internal. There is a turret stand inside, so that's actually really good. Okay, so with that being said, I decided I am going to, as soon as I find my station, let me help if I do this. Yes, there it is, right in front of me. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put it between the outpost and the airlock. Not only do I like to have a bit of a corridor and I'm walking to my ship, but at least it's got a turret in it, so if someone just happens to find me and decides to stop by, and I do have a turret, at least I can put it in there, if if the case may be. But i got to go ahead and get in here and depressurize the airlock and take it apart and put this thing in, so uh, I'll bring... I'll do a cut here and bring you back when I got this un undocked. Okay, let's do this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be on this side when I undock because I think it's technically a smaller space. I have no idea, but we gotta force the door closed. That way we can save the air at least at one of these sides. Okay, that goes. And I open the door again. Oh, hang on. Uh, don't need to get blown into the. Don't need to get blown into the airlock. All right, let's get this one out of the way. Where is that control? There it is. All right, and I'm just gonna use this as a reference point. So I just want to get this out of the way. Too bad it doesn't actually... Oh, wait. Uh, let's... Why is it not showing the outpost now? I have no idea. Oh, now it's showing it. I got some sort of indicator. Alright. Where's the solar panel? Where's my ship? There it is. So solar panel's all the way over there. Let's hurry before things drift away. It's one thing putting pieces of a puzzle together. It's another one there. Uh, they try <laughs> go a hundred meters away when you're not even looking. All right, now can I actually get in here? there. Hands in the wrong spot. Okay. All right, there we go. Uh, let's actually see which one's facing where. That actually works. And I think I have to relog because it's not showing the outpost. All right, give me a moment. That's better. Well, I was actually thinking that. Oh, that's. Well, I guess a little th flicker in the right corner there. It's like, what's that? And then I realized it was the RCS thrusters. But uh, yeah, I was thinking that I had to reset the docking port, but I don't think I do. But let's swing this around. And I think the ship drifted. Yes, it did. Well, then that means I gotta move the ship out of the way again. Or. Oh no, it's just bad perspective. I think that's all it is. I think I got plenty of room.
No. And the ship moved. I had it parked. Alright, let me uh, move the ship out of the way and get back here. Alright, instead of going to the ship, I just went to the RCS control on the outpost and just moved the outpost. So then I should just be able to dock this to that. Get the airlock on, get the ship docked before I run out of oxygen because I don't even have a spare suit on me. Okay, there we go. So we want docking port A, we want outpost, and there we go. Let's go in, go down. Hopefully I don't hit the ship on the way. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. The best thing is you can have a whole row of these solar panels and a whole row of turrets too. Have a little solar farm. An interesting idea for a station. But here we go. It's uh, so confusing seeing the RCS thrusters in the window like this because you always think it's, so you're hitting something. Alright, that should be good. Let us go in. Again, docking lights would be nice. Other than the ones that you see here, so you get at least you get a better idea of your alignment. And <laughs> gotta watch your speed too. Alright. And I think inside the module we should be able to find where we put the catalysts. Cause uh, I had a look at it when I was when I had it grapple to the ship and you could each one does have its own catalyst. So four catalysts would get you a little bit more power. Now where is the airlock? Right there, it's actually. Oh, I thought I was touching the ship. But with that being said, uh, let me get all this set up and I'll bring you back when I've got the ship docked to the airlock. Okay, everything's connected. I am docked. Let's go check this thing out. Uh, we can actually check out the power in the lifeboat. I gotta open this door. Jetpack, helmet, just in case, because you never know. Alright, we're good. Never know if there's going to be a hull breach in here. Uh, could use a little bit of repair, but it's not terrible. I'm trying to look on this side here, see if there's anything kicking around, see if there's any parts. Nothing. I do have some sparking. Actually, wait a minute. What am I talking about? I'm in the airlock. Ha <laughs> ha. No wonder it's in terrible shape. Alright, so. This. I hope isn't a hull breach. Ooh, a warp cell. Well, we're gonna find out. I better close this door just in case so I don't depressurize my ship. wasn't a complete depressurization, so we are good. Let's see if I can actually fix this from here without hurting myself. Where is that repair node? I have no idea. Oh, there it is. Yep, 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 I got it. I got it. Okay, fire is gone. Fix up this hole here. I actually got to turn on the life support. And now, where do we put these these catalysts? Do we go in here? Oh, hey, I found a pistol. I'm about to take it. Take that. Take that. Close that. Yeah, I have no idea where we're supposed to put these things. 
I'm gonna have to look around. Wouldn't be in here, would it? I doubt it. Have to be somewhere easy access. Okay, um, let's go back up over here. So, hang on and blow the door. Come on, I said blow the door. Okay. So, let's put this away and... Well, first of all, let's get that life support up and running. Turn that and that on. I did some refining already, so we got stuff. So then now we can see our solar panel module. We'll deploy all the solar panels. You can deploy each one individually, which is really handy. So that gives us 300. Uh, and then you can see the outpost does 447, and the ship does 500 currently. But supposedly you can put catalysts in, but I don't know where they are. Oh, they're defective now. Why? <laughs> I just put them in and they're already broken. Alright, well, let's go take a look then. Let's go see what's going on. Why is another fire? I probably have to go back outside. Still like to know where we put these catalysts. I don't think you interact with anything here. Judging by that big uh, lightning bolt symbol there, I imagine you put it here somewhere. It might be in the tube. Let's go inside the tube and take a look. And nothing there. And nothing there. So it's got to be outside somewhere. Unless it is in here somewhere, I just don't see it. Where would you put the catalysts? Hmm. I'll have to figure that one out. Close that. Nothing here because that's the airlock. Alright, well, let's go check them out. We should be able to see it from my crew quarter now. And see how much power we're actually... And we'll see how much power we're actually getting from them. Oh yeah, you won't see them because the airlock's in the way. Well, we're just going to have to get a command module then, so we got a big window to see everything. But anyways, I think I'm going to call the episode here. I'm going to go and see if we can figure out what's going on with those solar panels, fix them up, see if we can find out where the catalysts are. And then uh, probably next episode, we might actually go look for a command module now that we have the extra power. Speaking of extra power, let's see what we're generating. We're generating 1.1, and that's only with two, solar, two of these solar panels actually working. Uh, so that does, definitely has to be fixed up. i got to do some maintenance around the station. And so on and so forth. Oh, I forgot to turn the air filter off on the ship. But anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.